And now let us pray for ourselves and for our world. God of all people, all places, and all situations, we come seeking your strength, your peace, and your direction to know the comfort of your presence and the energy of your spirit. You have called us to work towards reconciliation in the world. So help us to live out the ways of your kingdom in your church and in our lives. Jesus, you said, blessed are the poor. We pray for those who find themselves on the margins of the economy, suffering from anxiety and the restriction that low income and insecurity brings. Challenge us in our stewardship so that this world will more and more reflect your kingdom values, where there is enough for all and where everyone can enjoy the blessings of your creation. Jesus, you said, blessed are those who hunger and thirst. We pray for people in communities facing famine and drought, as well as the pandemic. Give strength to people and agencies which are dedicated to alleviating misery and helping those in need. Move us to share what we have with those who have so much less. Christ, you blessed the peacemakers. We pray for those who work for peace and reconciliation in a divided world. We pray for our neighbors to the south as they come up to a very difficult and divisive election this week. That you would protect those who face violence and persecution or chaos in their homes and workplaces or communities that you would transform the day-to-day -day struggles of those living in danger or discord, and that you would move us to serve as mediators and models of forgiveness in our own relationships. Jesus, you caution those who did not practice what they preached and promised that all who humbled themselves would be exalted. We pray that the actions of all of those in positions of authority would match their words, that you would help us to be authentic in our own lives and remain your humble servants. Jesus, you blessed those who weep. We pray for those around the world and in our community who are dying and for those who weep for the loved ones who have died already. And we name in silence those who are on our hearts this day, including those saints who have blessed us in days and years gone by. O Lord, keep us united in love with all who rest from life in this world, but live with you. And so with your followers now in every generation, we pray the words that Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Our closing hymn, 462, All My Hope on God is Founded. <laughs> 